Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 14th of 2020. Well, it is titled capsule returns from asteroid Ryugu. So what do we see here? Well, this is a short video clip. And as we play the video, what you're going to see is what looks like a meteor or a shooting star going through the sky. You'll see a bright object moving among the stars and a long tail will start to grow from it. And what we're actually seeing here is a part of the Japanese spacecraft from the Hayabusa 2 mission that is returning a sample of an asteroid back to Earth. And when that meat reaches the Earth's atmosphere, what you're going to see is the thing beginning to strike the, the atmosphere and being heated much as a little bit of a, a piece of dust does and when we see a meteor, and it'll be streaking across the sky a lot longer in this case, as it is coming through the atmosphere and then you'll it will deploy a parachute which you will not see. And you'll see it start to slow down and the heat trail will then dissipate. And at the very end, you'll begin to see the ground down off to the left as the uh, craft gets ready to land out in Australia. So this was the return of a uh, piece of the asteroid Ryugu, which was visited in 2018 by the Hayabusa 2 spacecraft. It collected a sample in 2019 and then headed back towards Earth. And the capsule was ejected as it passed Earth and then entered our atmosphere so that it could land and will be able to collect and study now a sample of this asteroid. Now this is not the only sample return mission going on right now. We certainly have one going on with the moon, uh, which was recently sampled and a piece of that sample is back on its way to the Earth now. And also the Osiris Rex mission, which we've looked at previously, picked up a piece of the asteroid Bennu, and that is scheduled to return that sample to Earth in 2023. So one way to be able to get samples uh, and study objects directly. So most of astronomy is involved in studying the light from objects, what we see from them, uh, and images of those. And in fact, that is the vast majority of astronomy. And the only objects we have samples of are those few we've been able to get such as samples of our moon, and samples now of asteroids and a few samples of comets that had been picked up previously. But to have bits of other pieces is very rare. We do have some samples of Mars not brought back by a spacecraft, but that were actually uh, knocked off of Mars by ancient impacts and then made their way to Earth and have been later identified as pieces of Mars. But for the most part, when we study any other object, especially those much further away that there's no way to get a sample return in our outer part of our solar system and uh, further out when we start talking about stars and galaxies, we have to study everything based on the light and various types of electromagnetic radiation that are emitted by those objects. Those are the only things that we can see and essentially how we learn about all objects in space. So for our picture today we see the capsule returning from asteroid Ryugu with a sample of that asteroid for further study. So that was our picture of the day for Jan December the 14th of 2020. It was titled Capsule Returns from Asteroid Ryugu. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Jupiter meets Saturn. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.